Aloha. The reason I made this video is because I understand the awesome power of Excel I want, and I want to help empower you with some of those same skills and knowledge to make you a marketable professional. Today we're going to create a portfolio that will help you depict your credentials and flex those Excel muscles to a potential employer. Are you tired of watching the other guy get the job? I am too. With these, with these skills, you will become instantly marketable even in this seemingly saturated job market. The capabilities of Excel are expanding and companies are flocking to its capabilities. Do not be left behind. Make Excel your friend, not an enemy. Today we're going to create an easy to navigate Excel workbook full of Excel tricks, tips, uh, bells and whistles to wow and impress even the most knowledgeable Excel users. Employers will see your skills in action while navigating through your credentials. It's a win-win situation. What you do is I, you see here that I've created a professional portfolio with muscle. A lot of that, a lot of what I've added can seem complicated. I've attached all the Journal of Accountancy articles as well as some links and channels to very helpful YouTube videos to first show off what we're capable of and then showing you some of, of how to create it. I want you to point, I want to point out to you first this name phone number and email. I'm going to click here on this button and it's going to, okay, welcome. To properly welcome you, please enter your name. My name is Chris. Let's enter our phone number, 555-607-7882. My phone number and then my email. Put that in there and wow, look at that. It is populated, it's on its own. Welcome, Chris. It's added in the phone number we just put in, and then it put in that email and did it all by itself. Now I'll show you how to start with that. First you'll notice we're going to take us to this home page. These buttons are useful because, like we said, we're making it easy to navigate. Here it takes me to my resume. Boom, resume. Let's go back home. Take me to my unofficial transcript. There you go. Let's go back home. And you notice we have these projects here. Now what you'll usually have to do is, I've got the developer tab up, but you'll normally have to go to File, Options, then you go to Quick Customize Ribbon, and you click on Developer, and that will help it show up for you. Now that we've got the developer tab there, let's click on it, and we want to insert a button. We're gonna do that right here. There we go. And now it wants us to name it. We are gonna name it Project. We want it only on this workbook. Click record. You can add a shortcut key, but we won't. This macro takes us to the projects tab. Okay, hit okay. Then you see here it's stop recording, which means right now we are recording. Click on our projects tab. Click on involved organizations. Click stop recording. Now, let's go back to our home page and let's try that. Click on it. Here we go. Took us right to the projects page. Let's go back. We'll just rename this real quick. Control B for bold and we'll name it projects. We'll delete the rest. Right there. Okay, there's our projects tab. Now, once we're here, we need to create another one to take us back. So remember, developer, insert, button. We're going to put one right here. Now, while we have one already named home, well, this macro takes you back to the home page. That's exactly what we want. Let's hit OK. Now, let's edit what this says. Control B, click home. We'll delete the rest. Click away. Now, let's click on it right back to the home page. Once you've created a macro, you can use it over and over again. You can do the same thing. Right click on the picture. You can assign a macro and you can put a macro to this. Let's say we want the macro to take us to, let's record one and have it take us to the welcome page. We'll call this welcome. This macro takes us to the welcome page. Click OK. Now we are recording, go to welcome, and we'll click on tab. There you go, now stop recording. Let's go back to this home page where we can click on the button, we've already got it done. 
Now, what happens when we click the picture? Welcome page, home page, welcome page. Easy as that. Now let's go to this projects page. Let's say you want to insert that background picture. First, let's clean this up. We'll get rid of those grid lines. Okay, now let's go to this resume. There's no picture in the background. Now let's see, how can we get a picture to pull up? Let's go to paint layout, background. We're gonna click on our pictures. Let's scroll down so we can have sample pictures. Use one of those. Let's use this chrysanthemum. Insert, there you go. You got a picture now, insert it into the background. So that adds just a little bit of touch to it. I don't really want that there because I want when they resume, I want them focused on it. So I'm gonna delete the background. There, there you go, it's gone. Now I wanna show you how we made that page. We just followed our buttons back. We got our welcome page. Now how did we get it so that it populates it by itself? We're gonna go a step into VBA. This is very complex. You wanna go check out some of the YouTube videos into what is VBA and how exactly you can take advantage of it. But it's all in the developer tab. Now concerning macros, we're going to click what is click for welcome. We're going to go to Visual Basic, and these are our VBA. Now this is a welcome screen that I have pull up whenever you open the page, but this is that macro that pulls up box by box. Let's stick that to the right, and you can see we've got input box welcome to properly welcome you, and it starts there. There you go, right in there. But it puts in E1. You can see here E1, there's nothing there. Wait a second. There is, there's my name. Let's click over one. And there's there's the phone number and there's the email. And this is junk, we'll delete that. Now let's go back to the Visual Basic page. And you got E1, G1, let me scroll down, H1, right there. Now what this does is we need those to reference those cells to put this information in here. Now all I did is a little trick, you go home, you make that the same color as this little background and they'll never see it. Let's come into here. Now we step in to add in these delimiters, which is what this is called. You do equal, then you do a double quote and you insert text. Now when you want to reference another cell, now I do a space so that we can add a space in between it. Let's see, we don't want that. Enter, okay. So in here, Get welcome space double and then space again hit the delimiter and then text and that pulls up a formula so it knows to reference another cell now i reference e1 i hit f4 to lock in those dollar signs then you have to you set the format now i don't want to format that at all so i leave it blank and then i finish it with the end parentheses delimiter space quotation and then i continue on now in order for me to get that exclamation point right after Chris, I need to put that in after the delimiter. You can see further down with our phone number, the way we formatted that is we put in the format. Let's click on this function tab, pulls up the format text. Now there you can see that this is where we're referencing. The format is how we're having that we want the numbers to be reflected back, and that's what it looks like. Now a few last things that I would like to show you in include showing you some of the tricks that I've put in there. Let's go back to our home page. I want to take you to our projects page. What you notice is each of these has a link attached to it. Just right click and then we're going to edit hyperlink, but initially you would click add hyperlink. At hyperlink, you put it in here in the address. Hit OK. And there you go. Now when you click it, you hover over it shows us that link. This is one of the ways you can also have information reference to the internet. The capabilities on Excel are endless. You do not want to left, be left behind as this is something that this professional portfolio is something that will help set you apart from the competition. And in today's nearly saturated market, you need all the help you can get. And you make all these little tabs. I've got some that show some of the little Excel tricks that I've added in there. You can show off your skills. You can prove who you are by putting your resume, by sticking an unofficial transcript in there, showing them what you're, what you're capable of, while pointing out the Excel skills that you've learned. Now this I've taught you, but go out there, keep trying it, keep learning, and never give up.
Thank you and mahalo.